Also new developments tonight in the death of Stephen Causey, a Pinellas County attorney. We're getting new insight into what happened prior to the arrest of Tom Kozowski. The plastic surgeon police believe killed him. Now this search warrant right here uh, says surveillance video caught a man pulling a wagon, covering its contents with a red or orange blanket, going in and out of the law firm. Then a second truck is seen leaving the parking lot. Investigators say it happened the same day Kazi's co-worker called police to report him missing. He left his desk around 9.30 in the morning and never came back, leaving behind his keys and wallet. We're also learning investigators found the Toyota Tundra truck with blood inside at Kozowski's home. Police say they also found blood inside the bathroom, a strong smell of chemicals and a fingerprint inside the utility closet belonging to the suspect. Tonight, as investigators search for Stephen Kazi's body, we're also getting insight into Dr. Kozowski through the eyes of a friend. His best friend spoke only to 10 Tampa Bay, Shannon Klo, sharing his shock. Friends I spoke to tell me Thomas Kosowski is a normal guy, describing him as caring, hardworking, and friendly. They say they are in disbelief he's been charged with first-degree murder. The Tom that I know is a incredibly caring, sensitive, loving dog dad. Friends of Kosowski say he is a family guy. His mom was very important to him, and that was something we bonded over. Adam Barta tells me Tomas Kosowski is one of his best friends. The two met six years ago in Tampa when Kosowski was up and coming on social media as a plastic surgeon. Tom's social media was a huge part of his career and his identity. Barta tells me that was taken away when the Dartmouth Medical School grads stopped working for the Lawfer Institute of Plastic Surgery in Clearwater. You have this a promising career and you kind of got jibbed by these people, but he he dealt with it in such stride. Kosowski filed a lawsuit after he was let go, suing his former co-workers. Barta says Kosowski never acted out of rage as far as he saw. No, no, not at all. I mean, you know, I'm sure annoyed he was he's been annoyed, but never, never raising his voice. One of the most calm put together guys I've ever known. We're learning Kosowski may have had another side to him. Court documents state in January Kosowski had a contentious confrontation with Stephen Kazi, the man he's accused of murdering. It just breaks my heart. Like my heart is broken into a million pieces for everyone involved. Kosowski owns a waterfront mansion in Tarpon Springs. Barta says he has another apartment in Miami where he works. It's not a money issue. He had money. Like he lived in this beautiful house. Barta says he doesn't know what a motive could be if Kosowski is found guilty of murder. As his friend, I want to defend Tom, but there's also so much pain and loss here. It's not my place. Like I, I just have to wait like everybody else, I guess, to, to see what, what is going to happen because I don't know. Kosowski pled not guilty to first-degree murder. This as police have evidence that tie him to the crime scene. Investigators are still searching for Kazi's body. I'm in studio, Shannon Clow, 10 Tampa Bay.